In this video, I will be building my HM Mini Extreme setup. My name is Petra, you know me from Tech Condo. However, you might not know that I also stream local and regional events, big and small. And because of that, I need a versatile setup that I can use for either medium sized setups or large uh, size setups. And we will be talking about the medium size setup in this video. However, at the later stage, we will also talk about the large setup. And I'm really looking forward to that one. But of course, uh, that video will be uh, coming later. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when there is a new video. Also, by subscribing to this uh, channel, you also will help us to build a amazingly cool community. So I'm really, really looking forward to, to that. All right, so let's talk about the setup for today. And we're building it with uh, a ATEM mini stand by Aaron Parecki. This is the base of everything. I only uh, ha added this one already to speed up a little bit of the process. And I also have this one right here and we will be talking about that. So are you ready? Let's get started. Before I start to show you the A10 Mini Extreme Stand, I also want to point out that everything that I do today is also available if you own a A10 Mini Pro, Pro ISO, or A10 Mini, uh, because Aaron Parecki also has this really cool uh, stand as well, and this will enable you to do exactly the same as on the extreme. However, my ultimate extreme setup is based on the extreme. So let's get rid of this one and show you the other one. All right, so my setup, my ultimate extreme setup is of course based on the, well, A10 Mini Extreme ISO. Hence, I also need a extreme stand by Aaron Parecki. Um, I actually added uh, some additional add-ons. I actually added the Stream Deck holder right here. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. I also added additional support on the, on the back due to, uh, I don't want it to tip over like so. And I also already mounted the uh, central monitor uh, because I need some tools for that. I want to avoid uh, uh, spending that time for now. So everything that I do now in this video is actually done by just my, my hands. So first and foremost, the start of the show is of course the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, which is my uh, switcher of choice. It allows me to have eight inputs that are recorded uh, separately, that's the reason why there's an ISO. And typically I use uh, two normal cameras, two PTC cameras. I'm hoping to add an additional one, a third one at a later stage, a, a playout system, a HyperDeck in this case, and also maybe a computer monitor or something like that. Uh, so basically I'm already using almost all of the uh, inputs from the get-go. And I also like a lot that I can actually use uh, some macros right here, though it's still a little bit limited. And that's why I have the ultimate extreme setup and not just the extreme setup. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Um, of course, I already told you about the Stream Deck, so let's uh, start with that one. I'm gonna put that one right here on the left-hand side. Um, the reason why I'm using the Stream Deck is that I'm actually using vMix, and you can see vMix running right there in the backdrop. Um, vMix is very good for uh, overlays and uh, some additional graphics, which is not possible on the ATEM Mini. Uh, hence, I am still using uh, vMix, however, solely for overlays, and maybe in some cases also for videos, but nine out of 10 times I am planning to also utilize my HyperDeck. Um, next to that, I also want to use a SSD drive. So I have this Samsung T5 right here. Uh, this is a smaller one. I have a second one. This is 250 gigs, but I also have a 500 gigs. And uh, you can just mount it on the back of the unit uh, right here. And then just make sure that it's steady. And that's the reason why I'm also having the on the left-hand side, the, the Stream Deck, because this is a very nice way of doing it. And next to that, it also makes uh, mounting it and uh, connecting it very easy at the back of the ATEM Mini. I will be connecting it at a later stage to avoid the time, but that is definitely possible. Next to that, I also have purchased these small rig ball heads that are actually uh, cold shoe mounted. So I can actually just add them right here, uh, connect them like so, 
And once that is done, just make sure that it's all very much connected. And basically that's the first one. And then let's put on the second one right here, right like so. Okay, so now that we have successfully added all the mount points on the top bar, it's now time to really step up the game and create the ultimate setup. Now, even though the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO really is loaded with a lot of uh, buttons and knobs, it actually doesn't have all of the features that I require. Um, let me explain a little bit more. Uh, first and foremost, I occasionally also want to change the second HDMI port, and I only have one HDMI port that I can change, so I can uh, change it to, to one of the, the cameras or to multi-view or to something else. But I actually want to do that also for the second one as well. Uh, that is not possible. Also, it is not possible that if I have a Micro 7, I only have six macros on the, on the system itself, which is already cool, but I actually want to add more to that because if you are uh, doing uh, live productions, uh, having 10, 15 macros is quite a, a normal uh, situation. And if I want to change, for example, the picture that uh, the still, I mean, uh, that you see when you press a, a multiplayer one or a multiplayer two, um, then that is also possible, but not on the device itself. You have to use the software. However, I don't want to use software. I want to have everything under button control. Hence, I already purchased the uh, QuickPad by Scarroy. Uh, as you can see, it contains uh, some LED screens so that you see, for example, file names or which camera that you're talking about. If you change the camera name in the software, it also will be reflected here. For example, main camera or PTC left, PTC right, or something like that. You will see that right here. Um, you can navigate the menu like there, and you can use it for uh, the output one, that's also on the device itself. Output two, that's the other HDMI that is not on the device itself. You can switch to macros, then you can uh, press uh, up to 26 uh, macros. Now, and you can actually see the name of the macro, which is really cool as well. And uh, then you press one further, then you can also uh, change the uh, stills and you can select a media player one or media player two. So this is a very, very robust, nice piece of uh, hardware right here. Um, I know that a lot of, of you are using the Stream Deck, which I'm also using. However, um, what I like about this product is that A, it's way more uh, quality rich, so it's really uh, quali uh, strong quality. Uh, I mean, BBC, CNN, I was also using Scarry products. Uh, next to that, I also uh, like it because if I switch it on, it doesn't need a computer to uh, start up, which I really like as well. And that is something that is different for the Stream Deck. So let's start to mount this one right here. Okay, so now we have mounted the, the Skyhoy right here. Now it's time to uh, talk about the second Skyhoy. Yes, that's right. I actually added a second one of these uh, in order to uh, facilitate PTC control. And that is this one right here, which is the PTC Wiz, also by Skyhoy. Same buttons, so four-way buttons, so you can press up, press down, left and right. And also you have here a zoom control right here and also a directional path right here, like a joystick. So that's also very cool. So let's add that one too. Okay, so now you can see the full setup. So here you can extend the features that you have on the ATA Mini Extreme. And here you can also control the uh, camera. So you can select the PTC camera that you want to uh, change. Then you press down and then you have like five presets that you can search for, for example, preset three, Click on that and then just go move to that uh, camera and you're done. So that is really great. However, I also want to see the end result of the stream. So uh, I will have a 23 inch screen right here, but I also want to have the end result. And that's where I have this small black magic design uh, field monitor. It's only five inch, but it will give me uh, the possibility to see 
if the, the audio is okay, and it also will see, I will also be able to see the end result of uh, everything that I'm doing. So that is really great. And there you have the end result of the ultimate extreme ISO. I really like it because not only can I have full access to all of the buttons on the A10 Mini Extreme, I also have additional features on this device. And for the cameras, I'm actually using this PTZ control right here. And for the overlays, I'm using this Stream Deck. So this is the ultimate extreme setup. Well, there you have it, the ultimate extreme setup that I'm using for my medium setup. Now, next video, I will be switching it on and I will show you exactly how it works. And I'm really looking forward to that. So if you like that also, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when that video arrives. I hope that you like it. See you around. Bye-bye.